Welcome back to Let's Talk Retro. Yes, and my quest for all the Commodore 64 Mastertronic games continues. We were so impressed how much you guys loved the first Mastertronic video we did. We're back with another. Yeah, I've been busy collecting more Mastertronic games for my collection. And uh, I think at the end of the last video I was on 108 games. Now I'm up to 130, so there's plenty to show you, so let's get into it. So uh, last time, if you remember, I got all my games from retrogames.co.uk. Uh, this time I've been to various places, and the uh, first place I went is to raid another online store, and that is uh, the store retrogear.co.uk. I've got their card here. The company's owned by Ant Harper, and you may know them from some of the retro gaming markets, yeah. often they're them and the retro gaming events. So, you know, they're um, out and about at the market, so you probably know them. So, <clears throat> we'll leave a link to their website just in case you need it in the description. But let's get on to what I bought from there. So, first of all, we have on the Ricochet label. Okay. That well-known Irishman. Boom, boom. Uh, get it? Rick O'Shea. Um, oh, that went over my head. <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> FA Cup Football. That's the first one. So, what's it about? Yeah, I imagine it's about football. So for the FA Cup, it's coming to the near the com and uh, near the end of the competition this year, and uh, <laughs> please note these are not actual screenshots; they're no, basically right. pictures of footballers. It does look, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if that was a <laughs> screenshot, that would be a pretty awesome game. But as I was saying, the FA Cup, the actual competition is coming to near the end this year. The final is coming up soon, and it's uh, Watford against Man City. I wonder who's going to win that. <laughs> I've got a feeling it might be Man City. Love it to be Watford, but I think it'll probably be Man City. It might be in your words, eh? Yeah, it might be. You the know. official <coughs> FA Cup. So It's a competition that I um, haven't had much to do with this year because my two teams, which are Liverpool and uh, my season ticket holder at Reading, both went out in, I think, the third round. So For you. Yeah, so I've not paid much attention to it, really, to tell you the truth, this year. So next up, we have... This one makes me laugh. It's called Skate Rock Simulator. So you have a Skate Rock Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a young chap wearing gloves on a skateboard holding a Ghetto Blaster. Again, that's on the Ricochet. I hope label. he had plenty of batteries because those things used to... Yeah, they eat the batteries. Did you ever used to have a... Yeah, yeah it'd be about 12 yeah. batteries in it, it. I mean, that is enormous. So he's doing well. So next up is another Mastertronic label. And this is the first one I've got on this label. It's the Bulldog label, which I think they basically use for releasing sort of British games. Okay. Yeah. Although most of their games are probably British, although they put them on the USA Entertainment label. Um, even though they they call it Bulldog, on the back it just says published by Mastertronic, so it's pretty obvious who it's from. And this one's Shard of Innovar. And that, that actually, that cover there, do you know what film that reminds me of? Steve, you know. Uh, I would say. Wow, that is an impressive. <laughs> I mean, that is a chest to die for. There's a film that that reminds me of. Is, is it? The... Is it um, Masters of the Universe? No. Flash European Gordon. Vacation. Oh, okay. That Remember reminds you of that, does it? The Griswold European Vacation. I'll, I'll put oh. up a picture of the cover for that. I mean, he's got horns coming out of his head, or that's a hat. It's not the horns. It's just the pose. <laughs> it reminds me of that. Oh, okay, okay, not the horns, just the pose. I mean, there's some nipple action going on, and, <laughs> and she's just like, look at this! <laughs> and he's almost doing the splits. But Again, another game I've not played, so I haven't so, got a clue. No, okay, I'm not going to ask you what it's about. <clears throat> I'm going to have a chest like that soon. So the next one, and it's uh, good luck with saying this is just on the Master Triant label, it's called Kobayashi Nuru. Oh, very well done. done. Nice bit of pronunciation there. Your Wow, so it's like a serpent lizard guy with a and you haven't even got screenshots bolt of on that. lightning coming out, and then a guy that absolutely looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger with white eyes. <coughs> so you want to be immortal? As it happens, there are a few vaccines at present, so you could be in luck. Mm. But yeah, no screenshots. So God knows what that's about. So the next game needs no introduction. There's another one on the Ricochet label, and it is Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! Nice. Yeah, so that's the one that was originally released by Activision. So is that the one that goes Ghostbusters? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Ghostbusters! <laughs>
got the music. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, so this is a re-release then. A re-release, yeah. 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 Cool. So it's a game I've actually played, and it's absolutely brilliant. If you've not, if you've got Commodore 64, and you've not played that. I mean, it's a nightmare on the NES. Is it? As everyone knows, yeah. They got the proper, yeah, they got the proper guys, not drawn or made up people. Right, so next up is the first one this time on the Entertainment USA label, which again I think were mainly games that they imported from the US. Mm. Uh, and this is Los Angeles SWAT. So special weapons and tactics. And there's some mean looking copper on the front of that. Wow, there is. That is a gun and a half. Tell you what, he's he's gonna take out a few people. Look at that, that is so American, it's brilliant. Mm. I think that's got like an original 199 sticker on the back from where it the has, shop it was yeah, bought. It yeah. has. From RM. Yeah, Some underneath I can't that. read because it's too small. But Hey, this looks brilliant. Oh, the screenshots. Yes. Let's have a quick look. So, ah, it's ah, it's like a top down kind of, almost like a commando. Oh, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> but yeah, Grand Theft Auto. So show you guys here there we go hopefully you can see that okay i'll put it in front of my face so you don't have to see that yeah hey that looks cool so next up and last one from uh, retrogear.co.uk is another one on the entertainment usa label and it is bump set spike doubles volleyball look at that for a <laughs> bump set spike doubles volleyball yeah and there's some drawings of volleyball players anyway so yeah so that was the ones from retrogames.co.uk and also like the fact that I've got my like receipt here and uh, Ant's actually put like, a little comment on this as many thanks Colin Spidey Vase regards Ant so <clears throat> nice little personal touch there yeah, that's good so what should we do next uh, so that was seven yeah seven, seven down so um, I say last time I got some from the retrogames.co.uk and I've been back to raid more they of their stock. No, not yet. To raid more of their stock, and these are all on the Bulldog label. So these are like uh, again, like I say, the sort of British releases, or they came from from the UK that have released, I suppose, on these. The mm. uh, first one is called Feud, and it's got like a nice sort of cartoony <laughs> cover on that. That has got all sorts going on on there, like a lizard man holding a. Okay, what's that like a fork. staff or fork? Yeah, it's very peculiar. So next up, <coughs> I say still on the Bulldog label, is one called Spore. And it seems to be some sort of puzzle style thing, I think, by the looks mm. of that. Warning, biohazard. No admittance to unauthorised personnel. Yeah, it looks like a bizarre kind of puzzler. Cool. And next up we have one called Invasion. Now oh, is this a shoot 'em up? Uh, looks like it. Kind of looks like it, but I'm it? not sure. So next up, um, these are next are all from eBay, um, from somewhere called ReplayVideoGames.co.uk. Uh, <coughs> never bought from them before, but they just seem to be on eBay. Don't seem to be, even though it says. Uh, replayvideogames.co.uk you put in the email uh, the address and it takes mm. you to their Facebook page oh cool um, but they were very uh, professional um, the way that it was all dispatched you got kept on in sort of like touch all the way along and uh, so the first one is oh, grab it one on the Mastertronic Added Dimension label and it is Hole in One now uh, was that what else is on the Added dimension. Is it There's just all games on no, that? No, no, they or? were two ninety nine. I think. Uh, oh, okay, so yeah. They were slightly, hey, slightly better looks, games at a higher price, I think. This actually looks pretty decent. It does look good. I'm wondering whether it's as good as my favourite golf game on the Commodore 64, which is Leaderboard. Because that was a good game. But World Class looks, Leaderboard, or yeah. was it just called Leaderboard? Well, there was, there was both. Oh. Well, leaderboard was first, then World oh. Class Leaderboard. Because I played a lot of that on the yeah. Amiga. Um, so, yeah, I'm just wondering whether that's going to be as good Hey, it leaderboard. Looks, it looks good though. It, it does, doesn't it? It looks written by Phase 2. It doesn't say anywhere like uh, Commodore Amiga graphics or something like that, no, does it? Or no, it Arcade doesn't. version. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Arcade like, version shown. Yeah, like T6Q <coughs> and stuff like that. They put them. Yeah. Hey, this looks great. And there's the... Um, so they pretty much all like that so far. They just printed on yeah. one side. There are some that they print um, actually on the cassette. 
Would there ever be anything on the second, or do they put the same program same, on? Usually or? same game on the B yeah. side, yeah. Most yeah. Nine out of ten times. That makes sense. Or is it that if there's no label, there's no game there? No, no, no games is often... Sometimes there wasn't, but often there were, so you didn't have to bother to keep rewinding the cassette. You could yeah. just flip it over, no. rewind it just a little bit, or sometimes the game used to run on to the end of the cassette anyway, and then you could just yeah. flip it over and reload. Ah. Next up is a game that I did used to have back in the day, and I bought this as a full price title. Uh, it's actually a really good game, you're going to laugh at this. It's uh, John the Barrington's, John the Barrington's, that's right, John the, John the Barrington's Squash. I've always had trouble saying his name. Wow, what's but he was, he was like he was like one of the top guys um, in squash back in the 80s. And, I, I mean, uh, was that... I remember actually seeing him I know squash TV. was massive, and probably still is. My dad used to play a lot of squash. Yeah. But <coughs> I, I couldn't name anyone. But now you know, John the Barrington. There's next to no squash game, surely. Yeah, not, not more than I can think I wonder of. if this is in the top five squash games of all time. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Probably number one. Is it up there one. with, what did we have last time? Sailing. Sailing, yeah. That's, no, it's better than sailing. That is is it? This is better than sailing. Yeah. So you Although, had this back in the day, you say? I did, yeah. 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 I, what I'm really wondering is <laughs> how much you got paid. Well, man, yeah. Probably nothing. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he must have endorsed it. I presume he's got his autograph on the front for God's sake. Well, that's true. Yeah. No at all. Yeah. It's not a great pose either, is it? No, he's. I mean, it's more Magnum PI than. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Magnum PI playing squash. I mean, he's, those socks couldn't have gone up any higher, could they? I mean, I know it's the fashion, and you see the yeah. the young kids these days. They pull their socks up and. That's the, uh, and their jeans end here, but you know how trendy I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, cool. Right, so next up is... Squash. Yep, yeah, next up we've got one called SOS. For some reason this reminds me of sort of like Angry Sperm or something like that on the cover. <laughs> <sighs> angry, sp as opposed to non-angry, non -angry, happy sperm. Happy sperm, yeah. Ah, SOS, is, yeah, Angry way. Sperm. It's amazing how many of these Mastertronic games, even though I used to buy a lot of them, because they're only one night and you can buy them with your pocket money. How many of them I've actually never heard of, or can't remember? See that it's even my memory's got really bad. I'm just wondering how many retro channels have ever said sperm in a video. Mm. <laughs> sure, if you have. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, that is a weird cover. Anyway, SOS. <clears throat> so next up we have uh, again on the Master Trike added dimension label on Q, which, as you can imagine, is a snooker simulator game. Now, Are you sure? I'm wondering whether this is as good as Steve Davis snooker. I mean, look it's at that jacket that guy's wearing. Steve Davis snooker back in the day was my favourite. Ah, look at the Paul. screenshots. It's more Paul. Oh, it's Paul, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's not going to be as good as Steve. In that case, is it going to be as good as Hustler? Ah, correction. Was it both? It's Paul and snooker. Ah. So then, it's got to beat Hustler and Steve Davis snooker to be to be any good. In yeah, my it opinion. looks pretty. It's a top down, you know. Doesn't look as good as that sort of Steve Davis sneaker from the screenshots. I used to play a real basic pool game on the Amiga, and I can't remember what the, it was very, very early days, and it right. looked just like that. Before Jimmy White's. Mm, oh yeah, long before that. I can't. I'll have to find out what that is. Hey, looks pretty cool. You can use your imagination. Yeah. Next, so a game which I've heard is really good, but I've never actually played. Believe it or not, and this is on the Master Trike Plus label. Uh, Continental Circus. Hey! Now the screenshots look really I've good. Yeah, um, the screenshots look really good. It's got 299 rated on the back, so that confirms me saying arcade that some port, of these were 299. Huh? Arcade port? I'm not sure, was it an arcade game? Mm, I think so. And be, unbelievably not. addictive, says zero, 90%. It must be it. Experience all the thrills of the arcade original mm. as you stretch your driving skills to the limit. Eight international circuits have to be conquered in a series of gruelling races. Are you up for it? Are I you am. up for it, James? I am up for it. I love a racing game. <laughs> and I'm glad they've mentioned Zero. That was such a brilliant yeah, magazine. Good, yeah, that was an Amiga magazine. Yeah. Um, but that's not Amiga games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They covered everything. But then they and do... They oh, no, I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking of one for Amiga. That's what yeah. I'm thinking of. I mean, they would use. print... They would print um, cheats and or well, like most max did, but like pokes and you know. So am I get am I love getting, zero. It's pretty, I've only got the same like people, about five, but there's I don't know. I'm gonna have to find out how many mags there are. So by the same people that did one for Amiga. I don't know why. I'm I don't know. It's kind connecting of those two. But yeah, if you've never if you've never read the Zero magazine, you need to check one out. But yeah, that is brilliant. 
Right, next we have a, a game called Night Time. Now I believe this is um, part of like the Finders, and Finders Keepers was one of my favourite Mastertronic games. I think this is part of the series. I think there's several uh, all about a night going on these like adventures on a, in a platformer game. So that's uh, Night Time. Okay, so moving on. Next up I've got some from eBay. The bay? Yeah, and this is from someone called Berit Dash Zero. Whoever they are. Hello, Berit Dash Zero. If you're watching, yeah. That's where they're watching. But first one we got from them is Super Nudge 2000. Oh, this is brilliant. The Ultimate Fruit Machine Simulator. Yes, so I used to always love playing these. A lot of them, they didn't, they weren't really similar to UK fruit machines, were they? I mean, no. I was way too young to be playing them, but you'd see them everywhere. The only one I used to play on the Commodore 16, and I think also is on the 60, was Vegas Jackpot. That was a Mastertronic game as well. Um, obviously earlier than that, I think. But this one, though, but rather it's than like American it's the Rolls style. Royce. Yeah, because yeah, Americans used to have like four or five reels, and you're yeah. like, what? <laughs> you know, they don't have that. What's but going on, yeah. They do in, um, in clubs and stuff. But yeah, so local arcade Royce. to me, when I was at college, you were just, they were, you know, purely funded by teenagers um, gambling when they shouldn't have been. <laughs> but um, they wouldn't stop you because they make the cash, yeah. yeah. So next up Five is... <laughs> hey, Julian Rignall's got on the front. What is that? What does he say? He's, he said, the best fruit machine simulator I've ever played. Julian Rignall, see you yeah. Hey, what an endorsement. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. So next, next up is one which, again, I've not played, but I've heard of it. It's Night Racer. Oh, hey. So I guess you're racing at night time. Mm, yeah, Night Racer at night. Yeah. Not in the day. Programmed by Kevin Green. Joystick only. A fast and furious rally through the forests of Central Europe. Nice. So I wonder if the franchise ripped off the back of that. You're going to say what right, franchise now, aren't you? Yeah. The fast and furious franchise. Oh, ah, right. No, really anyway, that looks great. I wasn't listening to what you're saying, I was looking at the next game. That looks like an escort on the front, maybe. Because the next game's got a bit of bondage involved right. with it. Has it? Oh, like so this. from sperm to bondage. It's got some We cover woman, everything on this channel. Some woman in a bikini, it looks like she's tied up with her wrist tied. <gasps> and then there's some great big bloke that's trying to be Conan, but he looks really ugly. <laughs> anyway, <yeah. laughs> we're not going on about this. It's, it's Rogue, is what the game is rogue. called. So he's a rogue, I guess. Look at that, look at that woman. Oh, she's... Yeah, she doesn't look too happy. <laughs> I mean, what is it? I mean, that is that sword is just an absolute, complete mi copy of the Thundercat sword. But yeah, that oh, is wow. a Thundercat sword. I won't hear it any other way, because you know the bits that curve on the end. Yeah. So yeah, you could. I'll tell you what, you could. Uh, you so could do some damage with that, couldn't you? Maybe you got to go and rescue the uh, fair maiden. That's I mean, is he? Is, yeah, maybe is he trying to rescue? Her or is it? It looks like he's almost. Trying to stop other people from rescuing her. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's not you. He's the. Uh, he's the capture. I mean, he's got. He's a the enemy. Very, he's almost looks like he's got a moustache. Yeah. A very <laughs> short, small yeah. moustache. Yeah, like someone from like history. Like someone from history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't know who, but yeah. someone looks very. The, I mean, the screenshots are. Uh, Quickly show you the screenshots because they're tiny and they're all black and you can't make out what <coughs> the hell it is. Could have just done a couple of big ones, but no. anyway. Anyway, yeah. So we're down to the last one, and uh, the, well, most of those, like the other ones, are paid like a couple of quid for, mm. and then just a little bit of postage. So not nothing, much, nothing so too major. Nothing too. But the last one I've got is said to be one of the rarer games. Uh, so I did pay, I think it was £6 delivered. Apparently it's supposed to be a rubbish game as well. Uh, but it's Rugby Manager. And uh, this was on the Mastertronic Plus label. I love how this is one of the rare ones and yeah. it's six quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's it's a bargain, isn't it? Just before we move off this game, the guy on the left obviously is full on aggression. Yeah. The guy on the right <laughs> is Looks like he wants to give him a kiss. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> like... Yeah. Yeah. Odd. But yeah, I'm not a fan of rugby. It's never been more popular though, is it? No, it's very popular, isn't it? I used to play it when I was at school but 
Never really watched it. We used it. to get forced to, and I hated it. I used to play second row, that was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Played for the school team. Uh, trials for Wiltshire once. Did your rugby top have a yellow strip on the inside? Yeah, it wasn't in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we went to the same school as obviously it did. That's true. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Even though probably about there 10 years There was some dodgy apart. deal there, wasn't there, between the school and, and the, the local the sports local, shop. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's... The only place you could buy yeah, your rugby shirt That was from. it, and it had to be from there. Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah. yeah no, anyway. About, did about 25 quid back in those days, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right rip off. Yeah, it only had one. Yeah. Anyway, so that's it. That's all the ones I've collected so far. The quest will continue. Um, so we hope you guys have enjoyed taking a look through those. Mm. Um, if you had any back in the day and you played them, let us know in the comments. If you're collecting them, let me know. Or if you've already collected them all, again, let me know. It'd be good to hear. Um, see who out there has got you know, another full If you've got set. any spare, yeah, you've got get spare. in touch. Get in this touch. man here will buy them off you. Possibly. If Possibly. I if I haven't got them. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously. <laughs> anyway, but. so yeah, that's it for this uh, video. We'll be back soon with uh, another one, maybe another retro gaming show is obviously coming up soon. Mm. Uh, so stay tuned for those, uh, but as always, what we say is still... Oh. Whoa. What we always say we'll at the end of a video what we always is, say when we can talk, when we can talk yeah. is keep it retro everyone. Thank you to everyone who's watching.